Come for the bread, stay for the politics. My name is Ben Walsh, and this is Let Them Eat Bread. This week on Let Them Eat Bread, we are making a very different and a very special loaf. This is called a Sally Lunn bun, or just Sally Lunn. It originates in the small English town of Bath in the year 1860. It was meant to be a complement to French brioche breads. It's made in this container. This is a tube pan. Um, so you're gonna need this for today's recipe if you don't have one. Um, you can try making it in a regular bread pan or a regular bunt pan, but this is really what they recommend to make this in, okay? So I've gone ahead and buttered mine up already. So just make sure you lube yours really well uh, with butter or oil because that way we make sure our bread doesn't stick. All right, and with that out of the way, I'm super excited to bake this bread. It's a batter bread, so you see we're not gonna need anything today. I have taken away our usual kneading board, uh, so I'm very excited to do this. So let's get started. Hey everyone, first we are going to take our sugar. We have one third cup of sugar here and just pour this into a bowl. On top of that is going to go our yeast. We're using one packet or two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast. Next, we have some water that's between 100 and 115 degrees Fahrenheit to put in there. Give that a quick mix around and then let it sit for about five minutes. Meanwhile, we are going to start preparing our other liquid ingredients. We have one stick of melted butter here. We have half a cup of lukewarm milk, just about 80 degrees is about fine. And after that, we're going to put in a teaspoon of kosher salt. You know I always guess on the show. And we're going to give that a quick stir. And then we are going to set our timers for about five minutes and let our yeast mixture come to arise. So I'm going to vanish, poof. All right, off I go. And, and it's been five minutes and back I come. All right, so now we are going to take our yeast. Okay, thank you, Ben. We are gonna take our yeast mixture and put it in our larger bowl. So we're gonna start combining our ingredients first and foremost. Next, we're gonna take our butter and milk mixture and pour that in. We're gonna give that a quick stir before we add our next ingredients. We're gonna take our eggs. We have three eggs here and just pour them in. Give them a quick uh, give them a quick stir here to combine everything before we add our solid uh, dry ingredients. All right, so we are adding a little bit of flour at a time. I've broken it down into about four sections. You can do as much or so as you want. You're starting with three and a half cups of flour, and you can use up to four. But the purpose of this is not to make a dough. The purpose is to make a batter. So as you're going through and doing this and mixing in your flour a little bit at a time, you want to make sure that you never really get to the doughy phase, but you want it thicker than waffle batter. So just keep mixing it. It will come together as a batter and it will not be as dough-like. You can just see I'm scraping the spoon off here because it is quite sticky before we move on to our next step. All right, and take a look. Very clearly not runny, but not a dough either. All right, we are now going to cover and let rise. I have set my timer for an hour, but this is probably wrong. It's supposed to be risen till it's double in bulk. I would suggest doing so for at least two hours uh, so that it can completely double in bulk. It'll be much helpful later. So disregard the hour timer for now. All right, so you can see that we have finished with our bread making. We have created a thick but workable batter. And now we are letting it rise in a bowl until doubled in bulk. I've set my timer for an hour like we usually do. And at this point, we are going to move into our politics segment. If you do not want to stay for the politics segment, that's okay. I'll see you in about an hour. Um, if you do want to stay for the politics segment, just hang on one second and we'll be right back. So as you can see in my big reveal, which wasn't so much of a big reveal, the dough did not double in size. So an hour is clearly not going to cut it. As I mentioned earlier, uh, you are probably going to need to do this for about two hours. Okay. Once you've done that and the dough has doubled in size, you're going to take your wooden spoon and effectively beat the crap out of this dough for about a minute. So you're punching the air out of it effectively with this wooden spoon. So just tap the wooden spoon around the batter for about a minute. That's what they recommend. That's what uh, it's recommended. Then what we're going to do is we're going to transfer this to the tube pan. So I am doing this with my wooden spoon primarily uh, with my bendable bench scraper as a backup. You can use whatever you need to do. You're going to need to use your wooden spoon to shape the batter into the correct shape for the tube pan as it's going to kind of crowd to one side or another. Just take your time. It's going to take its whatever time it needs to move about. 
Um, this is going to rise. It's going to expand, so it doesn't have to be the cleanest. You can see in a moment. I'm going to show you what mine looks like right before I rise it. And then the rise for this is probably going to be another hour or two. This is a very slow rising bread. Don't worry about that. It's going to be okay. It will be delicious when it comes out, but be patient with it. It needs a lot of time, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to rise this until it gets to the absolute top of the tube pan, and then we are going to preheat our oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're going to cook it in our tube pan uncovered for 45 to 50 minutes, okay, until the bread is 205 degrees when measured with a thermometer or it sounds hollow when knocked on. All right, guys, that is all for this week. I will see you next week. Take care, everyone. Bye for now. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, throw a like on it, share with your friends, and subscribe for more of our content. You can also find all of our videos and clips on youtube.com. Just search Let Them Eat Bread and you'll find all of our content. All right, guys, see you next time. Bye for now.